Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, I'm not where I normally am. If you've been following my Wordle in a Minute videos, you will have seen me on location, perhaps changing location. Um, and yesterday was an absolutely crazy day of adventure. We started out catching a plane. The plane caught a bird as it was about to take off and was... Um, damaged beyond repair apparently or certainly not safe to fly so that flight got cancelled I had to race around trying to find a car to hire and then drive for ten and a half hours to get to my destination and here I am we made it absolute madness um, and I'm probably in no fit state to attempt a video but you will have also perhaps noticed that there have been a number of videos scheduled from my normal locations for recent days but that ends now and I am going to be um, well, this gives me the chance to wish Glum Hippo a slightly belated happy birthday. It was his birthday yesterday, and he has recently recommended this puzzle to us. So it was in the Discord server. It's a debut for uh, JMote13. It is a puzzle in the genre of um, differences, where X differences, I think they're called, where which is a a puzzle genre created by Glum Hippo, I'm pretty certain, and certainly perfected by him. They're, of all the X difference puzzles I think we've done, I'd say almost all of them so far have been by Glum Hippo. And this is one that I think um, our Hippo friend encouraged JMote13 to complete and perfect and post on the Discord server. And he has recommended it to us as a very good example of the genre. So I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. Um, I do like this X different style, and we will look at the rules again in a moment. Um, thank you very much for um, all the comments on the recent videos. Sorry if I haven't addressed any particularly uh, accurately on the following days, but I've been enjoying all of that stuff as usual, and of course Simon's videos. Um, and um, there's so much to do on the channel. Do check out our apps and our Patreon site where you get so much more content. Um, oh, I should apologize for the sound if it's not very good. I didn't bring a microphone on holiday, which was uh, a specialist microphone anyway, which was perhaps an oversight. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Please bear with me for today and maybe tomorrow as well. Anyway, um, let's have a look at this puzzle. And the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's going to be one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Ooh, my mouse is dubious today. Okay, maybe I just need to shift that. There we go. Um, adjacent digits separated by a diamond differ by X, where X is the digit in the first cell of the row or column the diamond occupies. So this diamond is in row three. X is there. Say that was a four, then these digits differ by four. Exactly. That's the rule. There's no negative constraint on this one. So um, don't assume that no diamond means that the difference is not the X difference. Do give it a try. It's a fascinating idea, generally, and the puzzles are normally very interesting. Um, and that's it. I'm going to start now. So let's restart and say, let's get cracking. OK, so... Where do we start? We've got we've got these sets of three diamonds in various points in the puzzle. Ah, no, I've remembered something about these that's very important. You can work it out for yourself, and I have done before, but what I've remembered is that this a diamond in the first two cells of a column is very specific. So think about that for a second if you're wondering what the possibilities are for these two cells. And, and it also applies to these two cells and also these two because they're the first two in a row. But, but it's much more important, I think, up here. So what I'm going to tell you is that this number has to be half of this number. And that's only going to give us four possibilities. And they're going to narrow even more as we go around the corner. Now, why is that? That is because if you imagine this being a five, which I can tell you won't work, that is saying that the five is the difference between these two. But that would make this digit a zero or a ten. And they're not Sudoku numbers. If you make this six, seven, eight or nine, that problem's worse. So this is one, two, three or four. 
This now is therefore double that digit because we can't have it being less than the first digit because then it would be zero. So this is two, four, six, or eight. Now that relation applies between these two. So this can't actually be six or eight. And this is now double that cell. So this is actually a bit like a black dot L shape, where if you know black crop key dots, you know that one has to be double the other. And this would be either a one, two, four or a two, four, eight triple. Now down here, we don't get the benefit of this relationship just as we do here, because this pair is acting on that cell, which is not part of this. So that again is one, two, three, four. That is two, four, six, or eight. And now we've this this X in the top corner is going to act both on those cells, on that pair, and on this trio. Oh yes, every trio in the puzzle is going to have to have an X that is no bigger than four. Yeah, that's worth thinking about as well. So these two cells, which act on this triple and this triple, how could this be a number bigger than four? If that was a five, the difference between those two would have to be five, which it could be. They could be one and six. But then you'd either repeat a digit here or you'd go outside the scope of Sudoku digits. So again, that is one, two, three or four. This is one, two, three or four. Four would work because this could be a one five nine or that could be a one five nine. But now we've got a one, two, three, four quad in column one. So, so are these five, seven, nine, or are, do they have a difference of one? All all the rest of the cells in the column are now here's another thing that I learned from Glum Hippo's puzzles is that nine can be a bit limited, and I think it is actually in these cells. This can't be nine because nine can never be the X in a row with a diamond because the difference between the two widest apart Sudoku digits is only eight, one and nine. So nine can never be in that row. It can't be the first cell in that row, in this row, which has that diamond, in this row, which has that one. Uh, so those can't be nines. And I don't think this can be a nine. And that's because this sequence has to either ascend or descend all the way up or down. And again, that's so you avoid a repeat digit given a fixed difference. So that can't be nine. So we actually get a nine here, which probably isn't a lot of help because there's no cells it's operating on. But, but we now know there's no nine in this group and a two difference is now impossible because these would have to differ by four between those cells effectively, which they can't do. So that's a one in the corner. And that is a concrete helpful digit. We get a four there. This now is not a, there's no one or two there. That's a three, four pair. This can't be two or four. That is six or eight. Oh, I was about to say that can't be eight because this would have to be four. But no, no, don't be silly, Mark. That is not the X in this column. It's a number high up near the top of the column, but it's not that number. So I have to just be cautious there. Now, this is either a five, six, seven sequence or a six, seven, eight sequence with six or seven in the middle. This can't be one. Oh, this is three or four now. Right. What are the possibilities here? If that's a four, this is a one, five, nine triple. If that's a three, this is either a one, four, seven or a two, five, eight triple. And this, these have a difference of one. So it's an ascending sequence of consecutive digits. It's not two, three, four, or that would break this. Ah, I've been, I've been, oh, look, look at the title of the puzzle, central difference method. I think we're going to have to find a method for thinking about these central differences. Uh, in, the in the central box, we have this pattern of dominoes with diamonds. Yeah, and they're operating on X's in these cells. But these are quite big numbers. And these, we've just discovered, that can't be two, three, four in a sequence there, or that cell would break. So at least one of these is a five. 
And this is quite interesting. Let's just let's just aid memoir. I'm going to use this area as an aid memoir. Just write some numbers in. I'm just going to consider if one of these was an eight. What happens here? This this diamond actually it could this can't be an eight because there are two diamonds in the row and they can't both be one nine. So we can get eight out of that. I think that means this can't be six. One of these two is an eight, and therefore one of these diamond pairs is a one nine. But but I don't know which. Let's consider this being an eight makes this a one nine pair, and I'm going to write that one nine pair up here. Then this would have to be a six. This sequence would go eight, seven, six. And this pair would have to be six different, but one and nine would be gone. So they would be two and eight. So we'd have used up one, nine, two and eight in those cells. These remaining ones in the box would have to be from three, four, five, six, seven. The biggest difference available there would be four between three and seven. And that is not the biggest difference we need. We need a difference of at least five in one of these cells. Isn't that brilliant? That is absolute genius setting. But it proved, I didn't really need the aid Mama. That's actually, actually, I'm just going to leave it there in case I do need it to think about. I've worked out that this can't be an 876 triple in that way. But this is now a 765 triple. So the middle digit is six. And this is now eight. Ah, oh, and this, oh, now my aid memoir is in a silly place. This is a one nine pair, but I still want to just think about what we're going to get here because one of these has a difference of seven and one of them has a difference of five. And there are quite limited applications. So the one that has a difference of seven is either one eight or two nine. The one that has a difference of Five. Oh, there are two possibilities. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to move my aid memoir area. I'm going to put it down here because I think I need a bigger one. Um, so the eight thing could be, sorry, the seven thing could be a one eight pair. And then the five in the same box would have to be either two seven or four nine pretty sure that's right i'm just thinking of the sequence of digits from one to nine in my head and picturing the differences between those now the alternative is that the first pair is a two nine pair and then the five difference is either one six or three eight there is a pattern to these now these differences going down What's up with them? They have to be at least a five and a three because that's the minimum values for these orange cells. Now, if we've had one, eight, two, seven, how are we gonna get a five difference? We're gonna use the number nine. That's gonna be a four, nine. In this situation, we've used one, eight, four, and nine. A five difference is gonna to have to be two, seven. And you see we're using the same set of four digits. Now in this situation, 2916, I think we're going to use 8. It's going to be 83 here. 29 and 38 use. This is going to have to be 16. So you see we're using up the same set of six digits between that group of cells and that group of cells. The other difference would be a 3. Might be there or it might be there. That is going to be... Oh, this is really interesting. That's going to be 3, 6 in this case, 3, 6 in that case, 4, 7 in this case, 4, 7 in this case. And I think what that means is that 5 is never in this group of cells. It's like an inner Fistemafel ring of some sort. No, it's not. It's nothing to do with Fistemafel. Um, but the aid memoir proves that five is never used in this group of cells, so it goes in the center of the puzzle. Isn't that weird? And I think these have to be a five, three pair because you, you can't get, once you've used one of these pairs to do the five and the seven pair, you can't get anything bigger than a five out of these. So that's probably the more important conclusion. Let's get rid of all that, Edmund. 
This has now got to be a 3-5 pair. Remember, we couldn't have 2-3-4 here because of that. So that's a 3-5 pair. That's a 4. This is now 2. This group of cells is, well, okay, I was going to say it's either even or odd because 2 maintains the same parity. It can't be even because that would have to run 4, 6, 8 and 6 would clash with that 6. So it's odd. These these are all odd. In fact, let's just get rid of that orangeness, which was just orange as a random color. Now orange is an odd color. Um, those are all odd. And we can't have a five in the middle of them. Oh, and ah, so this is three or seven. And this pair does involve a five. It's either one five or five nine. Now we've got a one five nine triple in the column. Oh, and that's really interesting because now this can't be a four. Oh, that's lovely. Look, look at that one five nine triple. This cell can't be one or nine, which it would have to be if this was a four, because that would be a one five nine triple or a nine five one triple so that is now a three in the corner having a little party proving its position that is four that is eight which i wanted to rule out earlier and i can't the group here has a difference of three it's either two five eight or one four seven so that central cell is five or four if it's two five eight we know the order if it's 147, there's a 1 in one of those cells, and we know the order. It's such an interesting puzzle. I really like this. Typical Glum Hippo recommendation for something excellent. Now, what is this number? It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So the difference between these two cells is at least 6. So that's 6 or 7, and this is 1 or 2. Um, now here, yeah, we just don't know actually. There were there were clearly two ways this whole square could work in the central difference method. This is even because of this difference of five or seven, which means this is not a five. That can't have a difference of five or seven. So this is the five in the column. We've got a one nine pair now, um, and the difference is either five or seven. So this is even. Uh, six, eight, two, or four. That's not very narrowing. Right. Can this be two, five, eight? Yes. Can it be one, four, seven? Yes. This has a difference of four. Ah, and that difference of four can't involve this being one, five, or nine. It also can't involve it being eight, four, so this is either 3, 7 or 2, 6. And the order is uh, not necessarily known. If it's 3, 7, I don't know. If it's 2, 6, I do know the order. Don't think I've missed possibilities there. But I do need to look at these other x. Ah, look. No, I was going to say this can't be a 7 because this can't be a 1, 9 pair. It's not trying to be a 1, 9 pair, though. It's either a 2-9 pair or a 1-8 pair. If this was a 7, this, this is a 1-2-8-9 quad. Then you're going to have to have 4-3 here. 7-4-3-1-2-8-9. That would be a 6. And that would be a 5. And that can't be a 5. Right, sorry, it's very obvious that five is looking at that cell. So that's a seven, that's a five. Sorry, I didn't see that. This is now six or four to make this difference work. This is either a one eight or a two nine pair. This one, now there are various possibilities, so I maybe can't rule on those yet. Um, no, I don't know. So... This is 1, 8 or 2, 9. Where have I got another difference to use? This is either 2, 6 or 3, 7. This 1, 9 pair? Oh, look, I've got 4s. Bit of Sudoku. We get 4 in one of those cells. Now the 4 in the final column has to be here. 
Then we're going to get a four and one of those two. These are going to have differences of five and three. Oh, the four and one of those two is huge. No, hang on, hang on. I may... Yes, this is great. The four there was the necessary four in the final column. So that's not a four. So that's a five. This is a two, five, eight triple. And we do know the order that way around. Excellent. This now can't have a two in it. So it's a three, seven pair. This has to be six in the final column. Two, six, four, one, nine. This is a three, five pair. We know the order. Seven and eight there. Six, nine in the top row. That's a seven. Oh, Sudoku is your friend here. Yeah. We can start filling in some numbers, doubles, and triples. Um, and then we can probably... Ah, oh, this six has made this a two on the X difference rule. Four, eight. Now, we've got one, six, and nine to put in there. So I know that's a nine. This is a one, six pair. We need a five in one of these cells, which on its own isn't that useful, but fixes this one as three and five. We've finished box one. That's a seven. This is a one, three, nine triple. We've got a two, four, eight triple next door. Uh, five, one, six here. That must be a five as it sees a one, six pair. This is a three, seven, eight triple. Now, we're going to have to start disambiguating this set soon. I don't know how. If that was one, eight, this would be either nine, four, or what is it? Seven two. It could easily be seven two, but if that was four nine, this would be six one. Oh, I don't know. I don't think this is the right approach yet. Let me let me let me just see if I can crack something else. These are from one, two, five, six. Now these differences, one of them is a five difference and one of them is a three difference. Right, the five difference can't use either a three or an eight in this cell as neither eight or three are options here. So the five difference uses a seven in one of these two and a two in one of these two. The three difference then could be eight, five or three, six. But neither of these can be a one. Um, this can't be a five by Sudoku. That hasn't quite sorted it all out, has it? Four and nine are in this group of cells. I'm still going to have to... Oh, no, hang on. Three is looking at that cell. Just ordinary Sudoku. Stormtrooper scanning did not allow me to spot it. Um... And that three makes this a seven, and that's huge. That makes this a nine. This is a four. The nine is going to sort out nine and one there. Now, nine, four here. So this can't involve a nine or a four. What does that mean for it? It is one, six, two, seven, or three, eight. What does that mean? Oh, there is a seven somewhere in this group of cells. Now, can that be here? This would be a seven, two pair. That would be eight. We'd have one, three and six to place. Uh, I don't know the answer. Okay, um, any more useful Sudoku? Don't know. Maybe I should be finding some brilliant triple or quadruple in the columns. Oh, and this box seems like I could do a bit more in it. There's a two in one of those cells. Eight and three are in those. I don't know. It's not that useful. Six, five, seven. Right, I'm going to have to think about this pair. Or maybe let's start with this again. If this was one eight then this five difference could be seven, two, or it could be, well, it can't be nine, four. So if that's one, eight, this is seven, two. Now, if that's nine, two, then this could be one, six. And it 
could be a three. Oh, bother, they're all possible. If it was one, six or eight, three, that would be a seven. This would be a four or a two based on that difference. I don't know. How does this unwind? I'm missing some huge X difference somewhere, probably. Or maybe one of these is much more obvious than I'm realizing. These are a three and a five difference. So the five difference is seven, two. The three difference is either six on top of three or five on top of eight. Oh, it can't be six on top of three because it would be under a three at the top of the column. So six and three are not options there. That's a seven, eight pair. This is a three. That probably doesn't do anything on its own. This is not a two now because one of these is definitely a two. Okay, so we've got a seven, two pair and a five, eight pair. Come on, what's that doing? <laughs> Um, these are from one, four, six, nine. That's not really useful. Come on, work out what the three is doing, Mark. Nine, four, five. One of these is a seven. No, still, it's still not enough information. Um, right, let's think again then. If this was a nine, two pair. No, let's see if it's a 1-8 pair. That seems more restrictive. This has to be a 2-7 pair. Then you've got 1, 8, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 6, and 9. So here you would have a 4-9 pair, which would have to be up here, because that can't be a 4-9 pair because of those cells. So we'd have to have a 5 there and a 4-9 and a 2-7 Six, one, eight. This would be a three if that's a five. This is a three. And that's an eight. This would have to be seven. Ah, oh, this is quite a complicated chain now. That's annoying. So if so I was working on if this was one. No, I was working on if this was nine, two, was I? No, if this was one, eight, that's what I was working on. Let's do it the other way around. If this was nine, two, this can't have the seven. Oh, well, now it matters what I was working on because I might have just found that this has to be a seven either way around, which is huge. Right, let's try it again. If this was... 1, 8. This has to be 2, 7. That's clearly not what I was doing. 5. Then we've got 9, 4 has to be here. 3, 6 has to be here. So if that's 1, 8, you end up with 9, 4, 2, 7, 3, 6. I'm just going to mark those in yellow because they're speculative if that's 1, 8. Now, if that's 2, 9 instead, this pair is either 1, 6 or 3, 8, which are quite different. But 2, 9 with 1, 6 would leave a 3, 8 pair and a 4, 7 pair. And what's the other alternative? 1, 8 there with... Two seven. No, that's what we did. Nine two there with. Oh, I can't keep up with my own potentials here. One six five, three eight and four seven. Nine two, three eight five would leave a one six pair and a four seven pair in these cells. It feels like one of them's always a seven, but I think I'm forgetting the situation in which this is a seven two pair and that's a one eight pair. Okay, that really hasn't helped or worked in any way. So a 
just need to figure something else out. I'm sorry about this. This is being a bit slow now. One of these is a 2-7 pair, which has to have a 6 in row 3. The other is a 5-8 pair, which has to have a 3 in the top row. 2-7-6 and 5-8-3. Ah, oh, well maybe that's interesting to work on what if this is, which one of these is a 3. I thought 5 would be the more interesting case, but which one is a 3? We'll leave you with 5-8 below down here. And then, well, this could be a 6-9 as well as a 4-1 pair. Same over here. So let's just speculate a bit more. Three, five, eight, and then this would be six, nine, or four, one. Three, five, eight. Six, nine would leave this being one, four, and that would be two or seven. This would have to be two seven as a pair. So if that was three, oh no, the other alternative for this being three is that this is one four. There can't be a seven in these cells. So if that was one four, I don't know, that doesn't look very conclusive either. either. So I kind of get stuck here. That's very annoying. Um, I want there to be a very easy way to resolve this, and I'm not seeing it. I just want a way to resolve it, if I'm honest, at this point. Um, okay, let's say that is the 2 7 pair with a 5 here, because that puts 7 into one of these two cells. So now you've got 2 7 there and 2 7 here. You also get a 6 there, so you get a 2-7 pair up here as well. Um, 5, 2, 7, 4, 9, 8. 2-7 pair there is a 5 at the top, and on the other side you've got a 3. And still, this ends up being able to be 6, 9, or 4, 1 in this domino. That's so annoying. How is this meant to be resolved? 7, 5, 1, 8. I must need to... F well, maybe it's this pair. <laughs> is that is that able to be 7, 2? Or is it not able to be 7, 2? I don't know the answer. It's very tricky at this point, by the way, this puzzle. And if it's not, it's because I'm just totally blind to some aspect of the puzzle that is just literally there in front of me. Um, I don't think I've missed any diamonds, which is what I'd feared for quite a while. Okay, either we've got a 5 up here and a 2, 7. So the 5 is always on top of a 6 in these columns. The 3 is on top of a 2, 8. No, a 5, 8. This pair would be, I don't know. They could even be a six, nine pair in that situation. I'm gonna to have to think much more about this group, which I aid memoired earlier, but never really got to the bottom of. So nine, two there, oh no, one, eight there leads to this having to be seven, two, doesn't it? Yes, it does. One, eight, seven, two, then you've got a 9-4 pair there and a 3-6 pair here. So this column has a 3-6 pair. It can't have a 3-6 pair. Why is this now only now becoming obvious to me? A 1-8 there. This can't be 9-4. It would have to be 2-7. And that would leave three, four, six, and nine to fill these. 
one of them needing to be a five difference, which would be nine four. The other would be a three difference, which I thought could be three six, but that would need a three at the top. So this can't be one eight. It's that simple. I'm so sorry. Right. Nine can't be there. Two can't be there. Two. Two is therefore here. Nine is therefore there. This can't be two. Now that two nine pair means this can't be a seven two pair. So there's no seven there. That's a seven. This pair is either, well, it's one six, isn't it now? Or it's three eight. We don't know. Okay, we don't know. But this is either five or three away from seven. It can't be five away because we've just done two. That's a four. This is a three. It's this straightforward. Why Why was I not seeing it? I don't know. I don't want an actual answer, by the way. Six, two, seven. That's a five. This seems to be working now. We've got a six here by Sudoku. That's a one by the X rule. This is a three, eight pair. That's correct. That seems to work. It was all right, and that's entirely my fault. So sorry, JMO13, for suggesting the puzzle had got very difficult at that point. When it hadn't, it was just me being a bit of a dope. Okay, so these, that's a four. Let's just finish it off now. That's become a one, six, one, six and nine here. There we go. Two and nine, that's not a two. This is a two. That's a three, that's a one, we get an eight here. Um, seven, five, four, eight, nine, two, three or six, one or three. Now, how do we resolve these last few bits? We've done all the diamonds, done them, We've done them. It's not those. How does this resolve? It must do. Oh, there's a one there looking at that cell. Six, three, one, six, one. Oh dear, it's, holiday's bad for me. Four and eight, there we go. That's the solution. Oh, good puzzle though. And very happy birthday to Glum Hippo for yesterday. Thank you as always for the recommendation. Brilliant. Hope to see you all again next time and uh, probably another one from holiday. Bye for now.